push in the barrel lock pin while rotating the barrel lock forward until you hear a click. Then allow the barrel to come forward and clear the bolt, lift straight up, and you will free your barrel. Place the slide upside down on the table. Secure the slide and pull the frame straight back. Remove the recoil spring assembly. And the gas piston. Rotate the safety lever from the safe to fire position as indicated by the red dot. Push the rear end of the firing pin in with the combination tool and slide the firing pin stop toward the bottom of the slide. The firing pin is now free to be pushed out by its spring. Remove the firing pin spring. Push the bolt stabilizer pin to the rear. This will allow the bolt to also be pushed to the rear of the slide. The bolt guide pin has a recessed area on the vertical flat of the pin. Hook the small end of the combination tool into the recess area and pull the guide pin out. Release the bolt and bolt stabilizer pin slowly. Once the spring tension is relieved, remove the bolt stabilizer pin. The bolt and the bolt stabilizer guide pin and spring. Loosen the right safety screw. Remove the right safety screw the right safety lever, and the safety lever leaf spring. You can now remove the right safety. Now flip the slide over and repeat the procedure on the left side.
Remove the left safety and this completes the disassembly of the slide. In order to remove the ejector, we must first drift out the ejector pin. Once the ejector pin is removed, keep the punch inside the bolt as it is retaining the ejector spring. Use an empty case to compress the ejector so you can remove the punch. Slowly remove the case and the ejector is now free to be pushed out by its spring. You can now remove the ejector and the ejector spring. In order to remove the extractor, you must first drift out the extractor pin. Once the extractor pin is removed, press down on the rear portion of the extractor compressing the extractor polymer spring. Then remove the punch. Remove the extractor. And the extractor polymer spring. This concludes the disassembly of the bolt. To remove the right grip half, Loosen the right grip screw. Remove the grip screw. With even downward pressure, slide the grip half to the rear and lift straight up. Flip the frame over and repeat the procedure on the left side. To remove the adjustable hammer assembly,
First, drift out the hammer bar pin. Next, drift out the sear pin. Apply downward pressure on the adjustable hammer assembly before removing the punch as the adjustable hammer assembly is under spring tension. Now carefully lift up and remove the adjustable hammer assembly. To remove the slide catch assembly, we must first relieve the tension of the trigger spring. The trigger spring has two functions. It provides upward tension on the trigger bar and retains the slide catch assembly inside the frame. We will use a non-metallic dental pick to wedge between the trigger spring and the slide catch assembly. Now that we have relieved the tension of the trigger spring, we can now turn our attention to the slide catch spring. Using a dental pick, apply outward pressure on the slide catch spring until it is free of its retaining hole. Use a punch to assist pushing out the slide catch assembly. Now pull the slide catch assembly the rest of the way out. The slide catch spring will come with it. Remove the non-metallic dental pick. Carefully lift the trigger assembly up and to the rear. To remove the grip nut plate, slide down and pull free. Press in the barrel lock pin and rotate the barrel lock counterclockwise until it has come out of detent. Then pull the barrel lock free. Now remove the barrel lock pin. And barrel lock spring. This concludes the disassembly of the frame. To remove the securing plate, we must first drift out the pin mechanism. Slide off the securing plate. Next, you must remove the hammer spring. To do so, push up on the hammer spring bracket using a hollow acid brush and remove it from the mechanism housing. Remove the hammer spring bracket and the hammer spring. Using a brass punch, drift out the hammer bushing.
remove the hammer assembly. Then remove the hammer housing. Using a punch, drift out the sear bushing. The sear is now free to slide out. Use a punch to drift out the sear spring pin. Now disconnect the spring sear from the trigger adjusting bracket. Use a punch to press out the hammer pin. And disconnect the hammer rod from the hammer. This concludes the disassembly of the adjustable hammer. Compress the right recoil springs. Using a dental pick, carefully unclip the retaining ring. Remove the recoil springs from the spring rod. Remove the recoil spring rod from the recoil spring plate. Repeat this procedure on the left side. Unsheath the inner recoil spring from the outer recoil spring. This concludes the disassembly of the recoil spring.